we are going to have discussion on two properties of Z transform and the first property is linearity property and the second property is the time shifting property and we will begin our discussion with the first property that is linearity property and to understand this property let's say there is a discrete time signal x1n and the corresponding z transform of this signal is equal to x1 z and the region of convergence is equal to r1 on the other hand we have another discrete time signal x2n having the z transform equal to x2 z and the region of convergence equal to r2 now we will perform the scaling of signal x1n we will scale the signal x1n by alpha and we have alpha x1n as our new discrete time signal and as we have a new signal the corresponding z transform will also change and the new z transform will be equal to the old z transform that is x1 z multiplied by alpha and the region of convergence will remain same equal to r1 following the similar process we will scale our signal x2n as well but we will scale it by beta we will have a new z transform equal to beta x2 z and the region of convergence will remain same that is r2 now let us add alpha x1n and beta x2n let us perform the addition of alpha x1n and beta x2n so again we have a new discrete time signal that is alpha x1n plus beta x2n and for this signal we are going to get a new z transform and the new z transform will be alpha x1z plus beta x2z alpha x1z plus beta x2z so this is the new z transform and the region of convergence will be greater than or equal to r1 intersection with r2 r1 intersection with r2 so this property here is known as the linearity property of the z transform and you can easily prove this property and therefore the proof is the homework for you because we have seen the proof of linearity property of laplace transform and the linearity property of fourier transform therefore i believe you can prove the linearity property of z transform and now we will move on to our second property that is time shifting property and to understand this property let's say there is a discrete time signal xn and its z transform is equal to x z and the region of convergence is equal to r now i will first give you the property and then we will prove it let's say we perform the time shifting by n naught and we have a new signal xn minus n naught therefore we will have a new z transform which is equal to the old z transform x z multiplied to z power minus n naught z power minus n naught and the region of convergence will remain same except that there is possible addition or deletion of origin or infinity and we will see some examples of this case now we will move on to the proof of time shifting property we know signal xn is having the z transform equal to xz and xz will be equal to summation from n equal to minus infinity to infinity signal xn multiplied to z power minus n and we are performing the time shifting by n naught 
so we will have a new signal xn minus n naught and let's say this new signal is having the z transform equal to x prime z and it will be equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity signal x n minus n naught multiplied to z power minus n now let's say n minus n naught is equal to m n minus n naught is equal to m this implies n is equal to n naught plus m so let us make these changes here and we will have the new z transform x prime z equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity we will have x m in place of n minus n naught we will write m then we have z power minus n naught plus m in place of n we will write this n naught plus m also when n is equal to minus infinity n is equal to minus infinity m will also be equal to minus infinity and when n is equal to infinity m will also be equal to infinity therefore we can replace n by m here as well now in the next step we will separate the exponentials and we will have summation m equal to minus infinity to infinity signal xm multiplied to z power minus n naught multiplied to z power minus m z power minus n naught is constant with respect to m so we will take it out of the summation so we have z power minus n naught summation m equal to minus infinity to infinity xm multiplied to z power minus m now compare compare this part with this you will find in place of n we have m therefore we are simply replacing the variable n by m and therefore we can say that this is the z transform x z so finally we can say that the new z transform x prime z is equal to z power minus n naught multiplied to the initial z transform that is x z x z so in this way we have proved the time shifting property and you can see that when we are performing the time shifting that is of the form right shifting by n naught we are having z power minus n naught so to remember simply take the amount of shifting with the sign and then place it as the power of z and then multiply this with the z transform of the signal you had before performing the time shifting so this is all for this lecture see you in the next one